Jumping off the porch like mom's not home Tell me why the best things feel so wrong Summer nights, love them how they take so long What is up guys, it's Josh. We're back in business with another video for you guys today. I'm so happy to be back here, you know, sitting in my dorm room in front of a camera. I missed it. I mean, honestly, feels good to be back. Anyways, like the title suggests, today in this video I will be talking about my course schedule for my second semester of my first year here at Yale. This topic was highly requested in the last couple of videos, so uh, I guess I'm here to fill you guys in. I'm gonna be completely honest, uh, this semester is pretty rough. Over winter break, I was just sitting on the couch, chilling, you know, blue booking, searching for the classes that I would take this semester, and honestly, uh, I thought I would be fine, you know? I only planned on taking four classes, which is nothing. I have guys down the hall that are taking like five and a half. Keep in mind, most Yale students take between four and five classes each semester, so the fact that I'm taking four means that I'm having a pretty easy semester comparatively. Now the catch is, these aren't just four easy freshman courses. All four of my classes this semester fall under Yale's quantitative reasoning distributional requirement, which means they all contain some pretty heavy math and computation. But I'm a STEM guy, right? No problem. Uh, no, I was, I was very wrong. Very, very wrong indeed. All right, so I'll, I guess I'll lay it out for you. Last semester, I took Physics 180, which is a calculus-based uh, physics course in Newtonian mechanics. So the natural continuation of that would be Physics 181. So I'm taking it this semester. It explores the realm of electricity and magnetism. And honestly, I'm pretty excited about it because I didn't get a chance to take an EM physics class in high school. I mean, I taught myself the basics for like the physics subject test, but I never actually got to dive in deep and figure out all the calculus and stuff that goes into it. So far it's been great. I have the same professor that I had from last semester and she is absolutely phenomenal. In terms of workload, I know I can always count on a pretty normal six to eight hours a week for this class. So it's a, it's pretty manageable. Next is computer science. Uh, last semester I took CS50, which is the huge computer science class that's taught jointly with Harvard, where they throw like four different programming languages at you and like the basics of like computer engineering like all in one semester and it's just it's absolutely nuts but i loved it and there uh, there were a lot of free t-shirts which was good also so this semester i'm taking my first major required cs class um it's called cs 201 uh, intro to computer science this has to be the most unique cs class i've ever taken um it's taught using a language named racket which uh it's kind of a it's a derivative of scheme and lisp it's a really weird, clunky language. Uh, for those of you that know computer science, uh, you know there's these things called loops, right? There's no loops in Racket, right? Everything has to be done using recursion. And if you know anything about recursion, uh, it's pretty hard to wrap your head around. So it's been an interesting couple weeks trying to uh, figure out what I'm actually doing in the class. I think I've finally grown into it though and I'm excited for what the rest of the class has to give me. Next on the list of my classes this semester is my first electrical engineering class, which is uh, EENG 201. Um, it's titled Intro to Computer Engineering. It focuses on the areas where like hardware and software intersect um, and it's a kind of a great companion course to my computer science course. So far we've talked about like digital logic, Boolean algebra, um, building circuits with like logic gates and transistors and stuff. Uh, it's pretty cool. We've done some hands-on work with breadboards as well as uh, programming some uh, FPGA boards using a, a language called Verilog. I'm really enjoying it so far and I look forward to the uh, rest of the semester. Now my last class for the semester is the class that I, I love to hate. The class that has taken up probably 75% of my time this semester. The class that has given me a new deeper appreciation of mathematics. Math 225 matrix theory. This is a proof-based linear algebra course. That's right, proof-based. The last time I wrote a proof was eighth grade geometry where you had to use like the side angle side theorem, you know, like I, I know nothing about that. They don't go into proofs or teach you any of that stuff in high school. So this was, this was a little bit of a shock, not gonna lie. I really am enjoying this class so far, but the P-sets take a ridiculously long amount of time. So long that last week I was just curious to see exactly how long they took, you know? So I, I timed myself. Every single time that I started working, I hit the stopwatch on my uh, phone. And every time I stopped, I stopped it, right? 18 hours. 18 hours into one P-set. A P-set that's posted like Friday night and that's due Thursday morning. Almost a day of my life this week was spent working on a math P-set late into the night in the math lounge with a bunch of other clueless students. And uh, it's been great, it's been great. If you guys have been curious why I like hadn't posted in over a week, that's, that's why. Um, but I got it, we're good. Despite the late nights I spent pondering questions in front of a chalkboard, uh, I feel like 
the class has taught me a lot so far, and I, I honestly look forward to the rest of it. Anyways, that about sums up my schedule. I'm taking physics, CS, EE, and math um, this semester. They're all they're all pretty tough, but uh, they're all great classes, great professors, and I, I'm really looking forward to the rest of the year. If you like the video and want to keep up with all the other fun stuff I'm gonna have to suffer through for the next three months, uh, definitely subscribe, hit the like button, uh, comment down below if you have any questions or concerns or just want to say hi, and I will see you soon.